Good evening. How are you doing? Oh, Y'all. Sorry, I was running just a little bit behind. Let me go over here so I can see what's going on in the chat. Because the chat is where it's at. Let me get my extra lighting up in the house. Hope y'all are doing well this Sunday. I am. I had a wonderful weekend thus far, even though the weekend is ending. Let me see who's in the chat. Hey, K Renee, how are you doing? Peekaboo, honey. Hi, Triple Thread. Hey, Tarka. How are you doing? Thank y'all for being here. I appreciate y'all. So, oh, Lord. <laughs> I am, look like I'm cricket. Am I cricket? Hey, let me, a little bit closer. If I'm going to be crooked, I might as well be good and crooked. You know what I mean? Like close and crooked. You know what I mean? Let me go over here and check on my rice real quick. Yeah, it's done. Just let it sit right there. Now, I did rice because, well, let me back back. Today, I'm going to make butter chicken. Um, some people may not be familiar with butter chicken, but it is an Indian dish. And when I say Indian, I'm not talking about Native Americans. I'm talking about Indians from the continent of India over in Asia. Well, at least, you know, they consider that Asia over there. So Eastern Indians, okay? We're going to make a simple dish called butter chicken. Now, a little bit of history about this dish. I wouldn't necessarily call it an authentic Indian dish as far as the title, because it didn't get its title until 1975 at the Gaylord Indian Restaurant up in Manhattan. But basically it's tandoori chicken with butter and red sauce. Mm. For those of those, for those of you who partake of Indian food. So we're going to jump into this real quick because I need my chicken to sit to the side and marinate for 20 minutes, okay? Then we're going to get into making the sauce, which is a curry sauce, and we're going to get into making the naan bread. Now, the naan bread is also Indian. However, it's only two ingredients. Well, I am going to add a little bit of salt to mine, but you can do it in two ingredients, and I'm going to share that with you. And you don't have to have the rice. You could literally take the naan and just dip it in what we're making today, the butter chicken. Now, on my channel, there is another recipe that I have for butter chicken, but I made um, meatballs out of ground chicken and made the butter chicken that way. So you can check that out as well. You know what I mean? I mean, you know, just different ways, but... At the end of the day, it's chicken, okay? Hey, g Mom Groves, peekaboo, honey. Thank you for joining us. So let's, let me bring you down. Now, I want to let you know that I am using chicken thighs. Chicken thighs, for me, very flavorful. And you won't run into an issue of any dryness or needing to let this marinate even. The longer it marinates, it says that the chicken will become even more tender. However, if you start with um, chicken thighs, honey, this could just sit for some minutes. You know what I'm saying? All right, I'm just trying to put you on. You know what I'm saying? Chicken thighs. <laughs> hey, Ruth and GA. Okay, so let me take you down with me. I want you to know that I um, took some chicken thighs and I just cut them up into bite sized. I am going to let you know that I am using gloves. When it's time for me to mix everything, this is what you don't want to do. You don't want turmeric. I repeat, you do not want turmeric getting on your hands. You don't want turmeric on your white dishes. Okay? I'm trying to save you something because it has a dyeing property. And it will leave a yellow tint on that. And honey, as good as gone. You can forget it. You just be like, this is my yellow plate. This is my yellow bowl. 
Okay. <laughs> Trying to help you out. I learned the hard way. Okay. Hey, Sharice, how are you doing? So, in this marinade, let's go down. I'm using my stainless steel bowl. Well, first of all, number one, I only have stainless steel <laughs> bowls. But if you're a person that have, you know, white bowls, I would highly recommend that you do not put curry in there because it will stain your bowl. Okay? So stainless steel. And I'm going to add some plain yogurt. You can use Greek yogurt if, if that's what your um, preference is. But for this, I'm using plain yogurt. I'll save my Greek yogurt for my berries in the morning time. A half a cup of plain yogurt. Okay. A table, a tablespoon and a half of minced garlic. But I have a little less chicken, so I'm only going to do a tablespoon of the minced garlic. Now, let me introduce to some, and for those who are familiar, then you already know what this is, but it's garam masala. This is an Indian spice, and you can find it right there in the grocery store. You may have not paid attention to it, but it's right there. I'm going to use two um, teaspoons of this, but I, I might have to only use one because I'm not making as much as the recipe calls for. I think that'll be enough for the chicken portions that I have. This, honey, yes, turmeric. Okay. And it's in this container because I used up all of my turmeric that I put in these. I just got to refill it and I haven't had an opportunity. Turmeric. Now, all this is for your marinade. No, many should be familiar with cumin, especially if you make chilies or Mexican food. Cumin, yes. As you see, I use a lot of cumin. <laughs> cumin. Red chili powder, which really just chili powder, but it's red. Now, this is very fragrant. Like you can you can really smell all of this. Like it was like, woo, ooh la la. Honey. Very robust. Teaspoon of salt, which I'm just going to do over my pan like that because I don't want to make a mistake. Put too much in there. Not exactly, but we're fine. Let's see if I can do it with the spoon and I don't have to use my gloves because if I don't, then that'll be great. Woo! It smells delicious. Oh my goodness. We could just have this and it can be over with, honey. Mmm. Oh my goodness, this smells absolutely delicious. Now, if you know that you are cooking this um, the next day, which I wasn't going to do anything because I was entertaining guests um, over the weekend. So, yeah, uh, I was cooking dinner for yesterday, but. I could have let this marinate overnight, but that would have defeated the purpose of having my cooking live. So we're just going to let it sit. Okay. We'll move this over to the side. And we'll get ready for our sauce. But before we get ready for our sauce, and thank God I didn't need my gloves after all, I need to cut up an onion. 
I'm going to take a large onion and I'm going to chop it. And yes, use the entire onion. And most people know how to chop an onion. This is a sweet onion. You can use whatever onion you want to. I would say there's no purpose of using a red onion because you're really not going to be able to see it. <laughs> Unless you're just like, oh, I just like the taste of it. Blah, 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 blah. Move that over. Get these little hard parts. Huh? All right, so we have that. I'm gonna put this over by kill it. I am back. Did I miss anyone coming into the chat? <laughs> Thank you, Sharice. Yes, <Yeah. laughs> she said my knife skills. Okay, so let me share with you what's going to go into our sauce. We're going to use some ghee. Wait a minute. Which way am I turning it? Ghee, clarified butter, heavy whipping cream. I have freshly. Oh, you know what? Wait a minute. Let me add let me add some of this um, ginger to my chicken. About a teaspoon. And the rest of this freshly minced ginger is gonna go into our sauce. So let me whip this up real quick and let that ginger marinate. Now, if you don't have freshly um, minced ginger, you can get something that you can squeeze or get the powder. Now, I do have the powder over there because I'm going to make it just a little bit more robust. I have some olive oil, crushed red peppers, and coriander. Coriander. Brown coriander. We're going to add some salt for taste. Um, we will add, wait a minute. The garam masala. Okay. This dish is going to be robust in flavor. We're going to have our minced garlic, our onion, cumin, blah, 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 la, la, la. Crushed um, tomatoes. However, let me tell you this. This is what the crushed tomatoes will look like. This right here is 28 ounces. I'm not going to waste this when it only calls for 14. But I do have um, diced tomatoes. It's a consistency thing. But if you wanted to, and you want to have the same consistency, after you get to a certain part in this recipe, you can take... your immersion blender and right there in the hot everything and just turn it on and peek a -boo, which I might do. You don't have to, but you can. One reason you may not want to is you might like the texture that the tomatoes add. I might just do it just so you can see the consistency because it's more of a creamy sauce more than texture. But if you're a person who likes texture in your food, the chicken and the little bit, I mean, it's not going to hurt anything. It's not going to take away from the flavor. So it's up to you. 
And yeah, now there is another ingredient, but it is very hard to find. And it is fenugreek leaves. I actually saw it in the beauty supply place, but it looked a little suspect. And I was like, I am not going to get that. They're selling this at a beauty supply place, but it is nowhere in any grocery store that we have. So, yeah, we'll forego that. Even the last time I made it, I didn't have this. But guess what? It turned out wonderful. You know, when you know what you know, honey, you just like flow with it. So let me see anything else I'm missing. Oh, and the cumin. So what we're going to do while our chicken is over there making it do what it do. I'm not going to necessarily add this salt for season the taste. I'm going to add my pink Himalayan salt. But I am going to bring you over here. Then when once that is cooking and it's simmering and it's doing what it do, I'm going to show you how to make non bread. And it's going to be so life changing. Like, oh, my goodness. And then you won't even feel guilty about eating this, you know, bread. You're going to be like, oh, my goodness, that was delicious. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, Miss T with the T. How are you doing? Is a uh, Rambo in here? Hey, is he over here from across the pond? Hey, J3GS. Is he over here? Green hands. What's up? My brother from another. Where is he? There he is. My brother from another. Hey, wait till I tell you something. Wait till I tell you something. But anyway, come on. Let's go over here and let's uh, make a do a do. Guava family. This is um, grape cranberry juice. So, mm. so good. So good. Take you over here with me. Come on. Let's come down. Bring you over here. Make sure y'all can see what's going on. What's going on? Um, We are going to start with the chicken. We're going to start with the chicken. Let me see if I can get y'all good and situated. You start with the chicken and you're going to use the same skillet for the chicken. And whatever residuals you have from the chicken is going to go into the sauce. Just want to make sure you, you're aware of that. So if you have an opportunity, you can let this marinate longer. But like I'm telling you, with these chicken thighs, this will be nice and tender. I'm going to oil the skillet with olive oil. That's the purpose of your olive oil. And don't do all the chicken at one time. This marinade is wet. And what you don't want is a bunch of little. So we're going to do it in sections. And I'm going to use my gloves. Because what I don't want is the residual of the turmeric. And I'm not trying to scoop it with the spoon because I don't want additional sauce in there. Not, I repeat, do not just dump all of this in the skillet. 
And you're going to let it, like, brown just a little bit. And you're going to cook, like, maybe, like, three minutes on both sides. Then the chicken will finish inside of the sauce. Yes, you mama. It should be purchased from the grocery store. Hey, Miss Charlie. Hey, Barb. How are you doing? Did I miss anybody? Sorry if I miss anyone. It's kind of hard. Yeah, let it cook. Have your heat on high. While you are cooking, this is going to be very aromatic, okay? It is very, these um, seasonings are so robust. Make sure you are careful of what you use with this turmeric. Don't use something that the turmeric can alter its color purpose um, permanently. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it keep it on that side until I get a little, little something something going on. But while I wait on that, let me get something that I can put it in once it is done. Which I'll just have it in the side of something glass because you know I have a bunch of white dishes. Yeah, now see this? Uh oh. See if y'all see that. That's what you want it to look like. And, and don't overcook your chicken because it's going to cook the rest of the time inside of the, um, the sauce. We just wanted some brownings to go on. I'm going to move all this over to the side. And I'm going to put more in there. Because we're not trying to take forever. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to get it out of here. It smells so good in here. Now, if you're a person who likes to deviate and make a recipe more into what you like. Follow all of the instructions. But when it gets to the onion part that we're going to do for the sauce, go ahead and add some red bell pepper, some green bell pepper and stuff like that. I mean, it can only make it taste even better. Just let you know. But for just the sake of following the traditional recipe, I'm not doing that. And there you go. That's it. It's a wrap.
And the other thing is if you eat chicken a lot, you need to come up with some different ways of making chicken, honey. It can get very boring. Just eating it the same old way. Try to make separate this some so they can cook individually. Because remember now, in your marinade with yogurt, that's not a traditional marinade ingredient that we as an Americans would use using yogurt. All right, let me see what I'm working with. It's starting to do something. A lot of um, what separate the different cultures with cooking are their seasonings and their sauces. Because at the end of the day, they're eating chicken, okay? But the difference between chickens, let's say, a Chinese person would make versus an Italian person versus an Indian person versus, you know, a homegrown or a southerner, is just the seasoning, you know, what, what they choose to put on it, how they choose to prepare it. But at the end of the day, it is chicken, you know? Latinas may make it different, you know. My um, my sister friend from college this year we celebrate thirty years. She's Puerto Rican and she just spent the um the weekend um with me, and we were just going over, you know, some of the various dishes that are, you know, indigenous to our people. One of the things that she doesn't like is spicy food. And if you want people all in a certain group, you would say, well, all, you know, Hispanic, Latinos, Mexican, whatever, like the same. And it's not necessarily the case. It's not necessarily the case. So all Asians like the same. I mean, there is a difference between Japanese, Vietnamese, Chinese, Korean. I have some kimchi in the refrigerator right now. Well, hey, I don't know necessarily have I ever gone to a Chinese restaurant and they served me kimchi, but the Korean restaurant has. Take this out. We are almost finished, and we're going to start this sauce. And once we start this sauce and we get it to where it's doing what it needs to do. We're going to go and make this non bread. And we'll be finished, honey. I'm so glad I'm using this wooden utensil so I don't have to worry about the turmeric. I saw a chef make lo mein, but he used spaghetti noodles. It was a sauce. He made an Asian dish, and instead of using a quote unquote Asian noodle, he just used spaghetti. Chef, a thin spaghetti. And it looked absolutely delicious. He made low mein. All right. After I finish this, we're going to um, saute our onions, which I may not even need the ghee. Well, I guess I will just for the flavoring because it's called butter chicken because there's butter in it. 
So I will move some of this olive oil. My hands get heavy with the olive oil. I promise you. Olive oil is good for you, though. I also use avocado oil. Oh, don't want to take up too much of the, the deliciousness. Okay. So we have our chicken. Y'all see the chicken? I am going to take up some of this olive oil. Do not do this at home if you are not a skilled cook. <laughs> Look at that turmeric. <laughs> Y'all like, oh my goodness, Lord, you want to talk us the blueprint about that turmeric. I just, you won't say that I did not warn you, honey. You're not going to say that. Dorsha didn't warn me about the turmeric. No, you never say that. So I'm going to take two tablespoons of ghee, clarified butter. Now you, you don't want to come out. Mm. Come on. One. Oh, if I had some Alaska king crab legs. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, concentrate, Dorsha. Concentrate. There's the ghee. And guess what we're adding to the ghee? These wonderful onions that we chopped up. And this stove is right. Mm. Oh my goodness, this smells good. <laughs> Woo, baby. Oh my goodness. You want to let the onions cook for about six minutes to, to what is called is sweating. It's going to start letting, releasing some of its flavors. It's going to become a little translucent. Woo! Mmm, 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 mm. honey. Delicioso. So, I will be adding garlic to the onions and ginger. I'm trying to wipe off my um, measuring spoon. Now, I'm going to tell you, if you came into our home right now, you would just smell a symphony of flavors. Okay. So now our onions are ready for me to add the garlic. I'm going to add a healthy tablespoon of garlic. I'm also going to add about a tablespoon of ginger. Mix that together. Oh my goodness. I wish y'all could smell this. Oh. 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 Lord. We give you praise. All right. We're going to add the, where's my coriander? Let me get my teaspoon. We're going to add a teaspoon of coriander. Teaspoon. We're going to add a teaspoon and a half of garam masala. Mm, a little 
little bit more. And we're going to add a teaspoon and a half of cumin. I think that's about a teaspoon and a half. Now, let's take this. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. It smells so good. It smells so good. It smells so good. Oh, it's so fragrant. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, honey, same with my sama makusa. Let me um open up our tomatoes. Mm. Now the crushed ones would be finer, which I can take the blender or the merger, which I might. We'll see how I feel. But let's add our chili powder. Where is my chili powder? I'm going to add a teaspoon of chili powder. And we're going to add some salt. Oh, my goodness. It smells so good. And then we just need it to just cook for about 10 minutes. And so I'm going to um, turn it down some. And I'm going to let it cook. And I'm going to set the timer. I don't know. I will forget something in a minute. I'll be like, y'all be like, Dorsha, the alarm is going off. What's going on? I'm like, oh, my Lord. So I'm going to let that simmer for 10 minutes. Back up to you. Hey, y'all. I'm back. It is I. Oh, it smells so so amazing, Tarsha. Oh my goodness. It is so robust. Hey, diversity love. <laughs> Butter is I know that part. <laughs> I don't care what anybody has to say. Oh, um, so it is a lot. But let's go into the simplest things in life. Self-rising flour. Some yogurt and some salt. Are y'all ready to make this naan bread? While that is simmering, let's go ahead and get our naan. Guava family, guava. I'm drinking great cranberries. Woo! Yes. Where did I get that on me? I have on a dress, the dress that I wore to church today. I was like, oh, I don't know. Woo. Okay. Let me get this. Oh, oh that stuff over there smells so good. Woo. All right. Let me go and wash my hands real quick. Y'all know how I feel. I'm like, oh, just washing my hands. feel like I should wash my hands because we're getting ready to play in the dough. Yes, we're about to play in the dough. I'm going to bring y'all down.
We're going down. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Okay. Get a bowl. I'm not making a lot. This would be about eight. <clears throat> this is a cup. Self rising flower. Just a little bit. And three fourths. That's good enough. Okay. You can use Greek yogurt. I'm using plain yogurt. And it is a cup of yogurt. So one and three fourths cup of self rising flour, a cup of yogurt. Where's my regular spoon? From my yogurt standing out, it started to get a little liquidy. So I'm staring. Make sure you stare yours. And then I'm going to put this back in the refrigerator. But an Indian food, they do use yogurt a lot. We put this in the refrigerator so my yogurt. I'm going to start off with my, my spoon. About a half a teaspoon of salt. Okay. Clear off your workspace. If you want to, you can use a board, but I'm not because um, I'll pr prefer this granite. But you can, you can use a wooden um, board or a nice solid um, countertop like this, granite, and sprinkle some flour on here. Okay. Make sure the yogurt gets all that flour. Okay. I don't want stickiness. Okay, I'm gonna make this sort of one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Let's see. I don't want anything too big. Okay. I'm going to get my rolling. Look at me about the triple thing here. 
Where are my rolling pins? I have a couple of rolling pins. I'm going to use my smaller one. Now, you can make your non whatever um, you want it to be. But it's normally like, you know, square. But it can be whatever you like. It doesn't have to be perfect. But for the purposes of our non, honey, we want to dip this in our sauce. So make sure I got something over here. And you could leave it, you know, like this. I mean, it's fine. I just want a little more shape. It doesn't have to be perfect. Because, you know, if you really want it perfect, you just take a knife and you just cut it however you want to cut it. But it's not that serious. Have some fun. Now, don't make it too thin. Don't make it too thin. And make sure it's not sticking. One, two, three. That stickiness, you don't want that in your skillet, trust me, on that. Now, this non, and you're like, what in the world is going to happen with this, honey? You're going to put it in the oven? Absolutely not. This is going into the skillet. Hey, Tony, how you doing? <laughs> Last time I was over their house, his wife, Davina, she made some. And butter chicken. Matter of fact, um, as couples, we're going away soon to a retreat in the mountains. So that's going to be fun. So now we have multiple pieces of the naan for us to cook. I'm washing my hands. All right. Come 
on, dear people. Let's go over here. Off. I see what's going on. Yes. It is right. Now. Just so I can show you something. just broke down our tomatoes for the most part some of most of it but not all of it because i do want at least one or two left for some texture but that's what you can do now you're going to finish this off by you adding cream you don't have to use heavy whipping cream you can um use half and half but um, you can also use um, evaporated milk. So heavy whipping cream, evaporated milk, or half and half. But I would recommend this. So you're going to use a cup of this heavy whipping cream. Now, in most recipes, they're going to say dump all of this out put it into a blender, then put it back in there. And I wasn't trying to do all that. But let's go ahead and add our cup. Ooh. And we're going to add, I'm looking for it. We're going to add some sugar. Um, about two tablespoons. <laughs> yeah, like that is not two tablespoons, Dorsha. Yeah, okay. Now, this is going to be how it's going to end up looking. Adding that red and that white. Then it ends up like this. Add your chicken and all of the deliciousness that comes with it. Let me turn my heat back up. Make sure all of your chicken is submerged because remember, you want to make sure that you cook all of this chicken. There is no such thing as medium well. <laughs> medium well raw chicken what temperature do you want your chicken i need my chicken all the way down honey. no one is trying to get salmonella poisoning parasites and whatever else happens from under cooking and now you're just gonna let that sit and cook and I say, if you have like, um, you know, I have uh, fire 
So it's between like five and four. Don't turn it too far down, but don't turn it all the way up, right? So somewhere like in between, let this simmer for like another 10 minutes or so. And you'll be good to go. So now we need to go over here to this other skillet that I have. And we are going to make this non bread. Are y'all still with me? Let me see what y'all talking about. <laughs> We're going to make this non bread. Um, this is what you can make the non bread without adding any oil to the skillet. I am going to do it three ways. No oil in the skillet, olive oil spray, and ghee. And we're going to see which one turns out the best. Mm, I'm just excited. We are so excited. I'm so excited. I will be making this recipe with butter chicken and naan bread. It looks so delicious. It is. Now, never had or tried Indian food. Definitely going to try. It'll be well worth it just to try something different. And like I said, you know, chicken. Look at G Mama. She like set the timer. Thank you, G Mama. <laughs> G Mama like, this woman is going to be talking. Next thing you know. So, anyway, let's head over here to the um, skillet. And now, I would recommend non non stick skillet. Okay. Uh, let me see. I think it's this one. Oh no, this one. Non stick skillet, and that's very important if you're just going to do it with adding no oil. With I don't know. We're going to figure it out. We're going to do this thing together. Oh, that don't take long, honey. So we're going to do it these multiple ways. Let me show you my ginger because I did grate the ginger, but you don't have to. You can go and get ginger already done or just add the ginger powder. For those who are growing ginger in your gardens, I salute you. I wish. All right. It's almost ready. Almost ready. Make sure your skillet is hot. Let's see. Let's go. This is just nonstick, no oil, like the recipe calls for. And cook three minutes on this side, turn it over, two minutes on the other side, and bam, it's done. Stir my butter chicken. Oh my goodness, it looks so good. Oh my goodness. I didn't add the crushed red pepper. I was thinking about um, Sunday, and this has enough uh, spices in it, but um, the butter chicken. But if you want to take it up a notch, add that. But know your people, know your tribe. Don't be giving your people stuff that you know that they don't like just because you like it. Uh, I gotta find my little spatula. I have so many utensils, it is just like a different. This is the little spatula. Yeah, a little while longer. I'm 
I'm straightening up while I'm sitting here. You are better than me. I don't live here anymore. Do. I have so much cumin. This is ridiculous. Like, th does anyone make their chili from scratch? No, I promise you. Come on, come through, come through, bread. Oh, my brown coriander. Oh, there it is. Let's see what's going on. So, non is a flat bread. Oh my goodness, did I get the wrong top for this? I sure enough did. I mess, mixed up my top. Brown ginger. This is so amazing. So amazing to be loved. This is how it's going to look. Do you see this? That's how it's going to look. Spoiler alert. Now, just throw it on this side. But I mean, man, like good, right? And just imagine you take that and you dip that in that other sauce. Woo! What you talking about? I'll tell you something. I'm about to tell you something. I think this is wrong. <sighs> yes. It's so amazing. To be loved, I follow you to the moon and the star above. So, I have these bowls that I got from Amazon, honey. I will take this. It is officially done now. And just put it in here. You see this? And now here. Now, that was that way. Now, let's try it with some olive oil. And let's see. I'm going to stir my butter chicken. It smells good. It looks good. It is good. Mm. Let's see. But now since it has oil on it, I would think it would need to be flipped sooner. Look at that. Did I not tell you? Mm -mm -mm. So predictable. But you know that oil probably helps it cook faster too. What do they call them? Whole cakes? All right, let's check it. Let's check it. Huh. 
Huh. Olive oil, this one. It's basically like the same, except this is drier. Okay. So now let's try the heat. Let's try the geek. And let me wipe this. Mm, something about that is already speaking to my Shana. Shana. Okay. Honey. Oh. Mm. <laughs> oh, baby. 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 I love when people from New Orleans say baby. Baby. New York, say New York. Now look at this. This did not happen with the other ones. You see that? The little bubble? We know what to do. Oh, look at that! <laughs> oh, Lord. The soul food version of non. The soul food version of non, honey. Let me bury on. Geese. That ghee make everything better, honey. Look at that. That is what I am talking about. <laughs> All right, my butt chicken. Done. Now, I do want to share with you. Mm, 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 mm. I cannot believe this. This almost makes it the consistency. I don't know if you are familiar with roti, roti bread, but putting that ghee in there, that's what it almost made it like. I'm going to have to do it one more game. One more game. Let's do this one more again, honey. That right there. Honey. That E. Bam. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Yes. Give the people what they want, the worship. Give the people what they want. All right, I'm getting ready to plate up the um, butter chicken for you. I'm going to bring you back over here so that we can um, wrap up. But I did want to do one more. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Now that is the thing. The other ones, it will not rise like that, but with the ye, it will. But oh my goodness. <laughs> Woo. Okay, gorgeous. Calm down, girl. You know I'm so dramatic. I'm so dramatic. Now I do want to share with you that if your um let me see. I can't change this. But let me show it to you. If this is too um, thick, they recommend you add more ghee to it. Here go butter chicken. But um, I think it's fine. Mmm. 
Mm-mm-mm. Woo, but there's none. <laughs> I'm over here getting, having my life. Woo. All right, I'll be good for this one. I won't put anything in there, but goodness gracious. Woo, child, that right there. Mm. So, yeah, it said add uh, more. You can add more ghee to it um, to thin it. I don't know if it's necessary to thin it, but I do believe that it will just give it more of that buttery flavor type of thing. And you would serve it over your rice or you could dip your naan in it. And now as far as your rice, you could do a jasmine type style rice. Um, my husband is not a fan of jasmine rice. So I'm going to put it over regular rice. Oops. Oops. And let me flip, flip. Okay, are y'all ready? Are you ready to rumble? Take my bread over here. Are you ready to rumble? There you go, people. There you go. Now, that's one way. Or, okay, what's going on? What are we working with? You want to try this one? Or you want to try this one? Or you want both? Make up your mind. <laughs> there you go. Voila. Voila. Got my other lawn back here. Everything didn't get me. But we let it finish cooking. Hey, Maria, how are you doing? Hey, Broke, how are you doing? How are y'all doing? So let's say you wanted to eat it like this. Well, let me bless my food real quick. Hey, Melissa, how are you doing? Thank you, Lord, for this food. I'm about to receive it and I may nurse my body. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. We can just do it like that. And... Y'all. Mm -hmm. I don't care what no one say. If you don't have cholesterol issues, cook your naan in that ghee, baby. Gee, cook that naan in that ghee. I'm just saying. I'm just trying to help you out. Honey, look, you just dip it in there. Mm. No. Was it the bread made? Yes, this is the one. The bread that's made with the, the ghee, it has more color. And of course, the ghee gave it more flavor. The bread that was not made with the ghee,
जी नॉट गी टू गी और नॉट टू गी द फर्स्ट वन यू सी दैट कुक योर नॉन इन द गी आई एम काइंड However, I am sensitive to people's dietary restriction. If you have high cholesterol, do not cook it in the gig. This butter chicken with the butter gig <laughs> non My people. It's just a different way of doing something that we're very familiar with chicken. Okay? This is so delicious. And then the sauce. But look, real talk. And I'm about to get off of here. I'm serving it as an option. But the option that I did not present is the naan and the rice. Pick one. Even though I'm sitting here joking with you about the ghee, pick your starch. Don't do two starches. That's not healthy. And a lot of times, and you know, I'm born and raised in the South, right? Born in Mississippi, turned one in Georgia. Left here when I was 11, moved to Alaska, Michigan, Maryland, which hello, Maryland, Maryland Lurders. <laughs> you are still a Southern state. Then in school in Virginia, now back in Georgia since 2004, moved to Mississippi for two years. So I speak for the Southerners. We like bread with our food. Cornbread, a biscuit, garlic toast. We can have mashed potato and cornbread. <laughs> but just because you always done something doesn't mean that it's necessarily the best thing for you. Where am I going with this? The chicken is good. Sometimes you're not you're not flushing everything that you're eating out of you. And so it piles up in you as waste and you're just full of crap. That could be figuratively, but literally a lot of people are just full of waste, right? You have all these complex carbs that are in you and you're just like, I feel bloated, I'm so fatigued, I'm da 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 da. Pick and choose. So, for the most part of the week, I didn't have any type of starch. I didn't have any type of bread because I knew that if I was going to make this, I was going to indulge. So I had to pick and choose. So I started off the week eating a slice of my homemade sourdough bread. Then, okay, now let me just take a break. So now I'm eating this and there were days where I didn't have I didn't have rice. I didn't have pasta. I didn't have whatever because it was my treat. But this is not just any old type of bread, you know, and it's very flavorful and it's delicious. So it's like a treat. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's so good with the ghee. <laughs> but, you know, they can teach you on the Internet how to make clarified butter. Matter of fact. And some recipes, they'll say if you don't have a ghee, just, you know, mix butter and oil, whatever. But I don't know if that's necessarily clarified butter. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but anyway, she said, I overly enjoy bread. Hey, I'm just saying. Bread, it tastes so delicious. But let me tell you something. So me and my friend, we were watching, binge watching um, from scratch yesterday. And it takes place in Italy. And every single meal is like pasta and bread. I was like, I would be big as a house. 
I would be big as a house eating pasta every single day. Can't do it. <laughs> Bread and pasta every day, every day. Can't do it. So, you know, but if you look at certain people from different parts of the world, like this is the Indian dish. I don't see too many unhealthy Indians, you know, from India. You know what I mean? It's a lot. It has to do with their diet, right? So, hey, we learned something. Okay. So, um, I'm going to post this picture, whatever. Go back to the beginning <laughs> about the marinade. But even if you decide that you don't want to do the butter sauce, doing that marinade, that chicken by itself would have been delicious. And you could have just served that over some rice and steamed some vegetables or whatever. You know what I mean? Just a different way to do something that you eat all the time. Chicken doesn't have to be boring. You can just, you know, spice it up. I mean, literally, like we spice it up, okay? Anyway, so that's that. I'm going to get off of here. But <clears throat> I do want to say that Wednesday night, I'm going to have the New Orleans gardener. She's going to join me Wednesday, well, for Wisdom Wednesday. And she's going to be sharing nuggets, seed, wisdom seeds that she has extracted from the garden and how they apply to your everyday life. So that is 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, which is her time zone because she's in New Orleans, New Orleans, New Orleans, and I'm over here in the A. Please join us on Wednesday as she shares these gems, these seeds of wisdom. We get wisdom from experience, whether it be ours or someone else's. But wisdom is always extracted from experience. Knowledge can be found in a book. It can be found from traveling. It can be found from other people. But wisdom is the application of knowledge. You either get it from your experiences or someone else's. So join us on Wednesday night. I pray that you all are protected safe, blessed, and covered by Jesus Christ until we see each other again out on these shoes two streets. Tomorrow, I'll be dropping my weekly vlog, which I am so happy to share with you as I make my first loaf of sourdough bread. Hunty, sourdough, okay? And my boule, it turned out wonderful. It was something wonderful. I was like, but my teacher, Davina Jordan from the Jordan Farmhouse. And this is my sourdough starter. And I feed it every couple of days. So if you just so happen to be in the A, and I have to cook you a meal, I can make you some sourdough bread. Now, I will have me 24 hours in advance because after I make this do what it do, then I got to sit it in the refrigerator for 24 hours. But my sourdough bread, y'all wait till y'all see that vlog. I promise you, this woman is thinking about the way that she is cooking, what is going into her family's body, okay? So watch out, Walmart. I may not ever have to have some great value bread, shot it, but the red of the lip, you know, great value. I'll let you, girl. Walmart. All right. I'll see y'all up in these streets.